slide up wet like water, water. Uh, count the checks, yeah, come on, come on. Uh, make a drop for the dollar, dollar. Uh, pop a perk, yeah, make me stronger. Oh, I just sold that MSG, a hundred thousand pants. Hanging vision, plus I got a flow that make you dance. Counting up the bank, for got me blisters on my hands. Back, daddy got you made. Then. Wet up in a pan. It's just another day, it's just another dance. Yeah, I want it all, ambition on my path. Do what you gotta do when life is in your hands. If they try to stop you, man, they can't understand. I had to flip the packs, feed the family with the racks. Put my people's on the max, to the hood I get back. Survival is the stacks, every penny I feel blessed. Two title on the bands, no time for ducking trans. Yeah, yeah, it's time I lay down what I got. I'm rolling, stay low and dry time. Sweet loud and thick thoughts, what I want. Uh -huh. Drip shine, Javenji and Taylor Rock. Hey, come up in your hands if you vibe and bring your fans. We be popping on the bottles, we be rolling on the front. So keep it litty on the wrist with the shimmy, shimmy wrist. Like how I do this shit, man. How I do this shit, man. I got my headers, Dr. Ben Island. If you wanna run it, we can run it through the mines. Slide up wet like water, water. Uh, got the checks, yeah, come on, come on. Uh, make a drop for the dollar, dollar. Uh, pop a perk, yeah, make me stronger. Slide up wet like water, water. Uh, got the checks, yeah, come on, come on. Uh, make for the dollar, dollar. Uh, pop a perk, yeah, make me stronger. Oh, better tuck your jewels when we coming through. We ain't even packing, they just know how SEC do. In the Rari coupe, pushing it to the limit. Cops out, got my windows out, cause they tinted. When you talk your shit, do you really be with it? Trying to make so much money, they think I'm printing. Where this yours and everything in it. Been running through the streets so long that I'm winded. Don't talk on my name when you never knew me. Growing up, never had a shit handed to me. If you scared to do it, hand a nine over to me. I ain't such a take the time, just like Lil Boozy. I like my women classy with their ass juicy. Niggas Tell me they real, but they just use me If I'm pulling up, you know it's all black, I'm black As to see the gang, ain't no way you're strapped If you need it, yeah, we got it, yeah, just hit the check I ain't sipping on it if it ain't coke and jack Working hard, trying to make a buck Trapping through the tries, they used to take the bus Now the Forgiato's on the black Lambo truck You fucking up the money, cause you focus on the sluts Getting to the paper, stacking up my racks Remember I was broke and I couldn't flip a pack Didn't have a whip, no one had my back Now I'm good, so fuck Fuck you, you can hold that. Slide up wet like water, water. Uh, count the checks, yeah, come on, come on. Uh, make a drop for the dollar, dollar. Uh, pop a per, yeah, make me stronger. Slide up wet like water, water. Uh, count the checks, yeah, come on, come on. Uh, make a drop for the dollar, dollar. Uh, pop a per, yeah, make me stronger. Oh. Yeah, what's up? What's up? <clears throat> Real quick, let me just because I went back and I listened to that interview. And I have, you know, when you go back and you listen to something, especially if you're doing it, you have to think. You have to think about certain things that was said and so forth. Let me keep it a bang. I'm in competition with everybody on this bitch. If you YouTube chosen person and you got an audience, bitch, I'm coming for it. I don't care who you are. Um, because uh, I'm more entertaining and more creative. And if they don't feel like they're more entertaining, more creative, better looking, more talented than me, then that's a dumb problem. There's people that I know are better than me. And I still say I'm the best. Because I aspire to be the best. I'm going to put in whatever work, get whatever equipment and stuff. I remember and I recall when Armand Wiggins said that he was using StreamYard and stuff. And then one day he heard Tasha K said the only difference between me and y'all is the quality. So he upped this shit. You know, I didn't need to wait on a YouTube check to up my shit. 
I just needed to get comfortable and build a crowd, right? So me coming to YouTube, I just really want y'all to understand. I love the resources and I don't need the resources, but if it's the resource game that y'all playing, I'm going to tighten ship to make sure I make nothing but resources. I'm going to tell all of y'all my new MO is to be here for the money. Um, you will have you will not have no engagement with me if you're not a member of mine. You can't even see my live streams if you're not a member of mine. Because really and truthfully, the only reason why I go live is because I know I have to perform and there's no take backs. Like in Hollywood, there's no take backs, there's no cuts, there's no redos. So you got to give it all you get. And it's a scary thing to do. Most people can't do it. And because I built the platform forcing myself to do that, while under the impression that I'm recording while I'm live to do some re-uploads to make sure I get my money. You know, just have fun. And that's fucked up for everybody. You niggas would never see me do a live stream if you ain't a member of mine. Ain't nobody gonna have a moderation on my channel if you're not already a member of mine because what's the sense of me giving you a moderation to moderate what if all of my live streams are going to be private? You're gonna have to be a member to access that. Okay, and then on top of that, people can say like, "Well, I'm a moderator. I only support you when you have a big crowd." Those people like that are the ones you gotta watch out for. Those are the clout chasers, the people that want to be famous, the people that want to be special, and it's more so, especially when they are a content creator. Now, some people are like, damn, they're not where you've been at. I ain't see you because they don't have this channel index, yada, 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 all of the other stuff. But y'all are not going to be able to see me outside live and, and talk to me in a chat outside of leaving a comment on an upload or unless you are a member. And we're not going to be gifting no memberships on my channel. If you're too broke to pay your cable bill, then you can wait until I edit it and upload it. To make sure I make all of my coins. Um, anybody that's a moderator that is not at least a member, your wrench is gone, and that's business. Because again, what's what are you moderating if you're not in the members only chat? Okay. Um, so theoretically, me using the live stream to create upload material is just me being lazy. Saying that I don't feel like sitting here every day watching this eye blink and this eye blink and this is off and this is wrong. No. That's the only reason why um, I've been doing live streams. So now that they're coming out to my platform playing these internal games, it's time for me to lock down ranks and be about my money, period. When I create content, me over here just talking is not content. <laughs> Now, let me back up a little bit. A couple of seconds ago, I was talking about people that are clout chasers. People that want to come around you and use your platform and use your influence to do their dirty work because they too pussy to do it or because they know some of these behind the game scenes, behind the scene things that take place and they're afraid of it happening to them. So I was listening to the interview with Cutie uh, TV. First of all, I did not know this person from Adam. I did not know her. I did not know Great T News. Never heard of them. Never watched their channel. Did not know they existed until the shit happened with Christian Rock. Their channels are built around Christian Rock. So if I got a personal connection and everybody on the internet know that I have a proximity to Christian and I'm in LA and y'all are in the middle of nowhere or wherever the fuck you are. Y'all want to attach yourself to that and come over and show me fake love and fake support thinking that you can take some of my audience as if my audience was built off of Christian and Ron. Or you need to protect and preserve your audience so wherever your audience go as a content creator, you got to go over there and make a friend or make a pretend friend so that you could backstab them later on. I recall 
uh, uh, great T news coming in my chat. And great T news had a picture of a black woman. And I did not know that that was a man because he had a picture of a black woman. I don't care if it's celebrity or not. I don't care. You had a picture of a black woman is what you had. And then you had people coming to shout you out in my chat to get my attention so that I could say your name and do all of that. This is why I usually don't even use StreamYard, let alone drop a link for anybody to hit my panel. So it was a plot and it was a play for him to be in a proximity with me, right? Um, no, fry, no fries. So when I seen that, I was like, oh, here I go back to playing this game. And I got a little too comfortable too quick because I went from not dropping the link to now all of these strangers and all of these people that never put a dollar in my cash out, never supported me. First time seeing them around, I want to hit the link and have a voice on my channel as if I need anybody to hit a link to give me any thoughts or opinions about anything. I don't. But I was a bit gracious to drop the link and shit, right? <sighs> and now you got this dude coming over to my platform, right? Because you know, Uncle Fest and them, they watch me, they spy on me, they look at my chat, they see who's in my chat. If it's a content creator, let me go behind the scenes to talk to that content creator and the premise of my friendship with that content creator is an operation or a hate train against me based on certain people, character traits and how they move upon information and belief. Uncle Festa went behind and contacted Great T News. How do I say that? Because I've never seen him in his chat. But the day you got a video where you're trying to slander me with a whole troll form, He's in your chat, salute, all of this other stuff, trying to get attention and clout because he's trying to figure out how to sustain his platform. Ain't no fucking way in hell. I'm going to be less than 3,000 subscribers away from 100,000. And I have to pull up to somebody else's chat to get them and their audience's attention. So that, to me, spells out clout chaser. And I didn't ask you to come around me. I didn't ask you to use my Instagram content. I didn't ask you to do any of that. You don't own Krishan Rock. Any and everything that happened with Krishan Rock, I firmly believe is not content all the time. I don't talk about her day in and day out. See, well, y'all sitting there talking about Krishan. What y'all don't know is I actually got off the phone with WAC 100 and Krishan Rock. And y'all just talk about it every day. Talk about her baby and everything. And by the way, I did tell her because, and I'm going to tell y'all, if and when I get the exclusive interview with Christian Rock on Instagram or wherever, of course, I looked at things in the news media. The bloggers in the news made me believe something was wrong with the baby. I do satire. I told you the name of the game with comedy is yes and so what? So yes, and so what? And I had to explain that to her in my platform and so did Wack 100. So when y'all want to be and the people y'all want to meet, I know them. And you plan yourself out to get on my platform, trying to get a little bit of clout, but now you're ghost. And now you ain't nowhere to be found, but over at an op platform that's trying to tarnish my name and reputation as if I need you to like me as a content creator, or as if I need your audience to be in my chat. Your audience actually caused the disturbance in my chat by trying to shout you out and act like y'all was the reason we did whatever. Now, collaboration is a collaboration and I appreciate it. Um, you know, but there was no previous conversation. But for me to see Great T News be on my, be on my platform and then for me to find out he's a nigga for his chat to distract me, me to promote him in these viral videos. I recall, so you had 60 people in your chat. And then when I shared it on my community wall, your video 
your live stream went and 60 people to over 200 people. And that's what you was doing. You was clout chasing off of me. And the first opportunity when my platform was taken down by the very same person or persons continually you're doing it, you was over in their chat. So with that, I don't fuck with you. And I don't fuck with the great pads. But most definitely, I was already backing away from you because the way you talk about that woman child, like a dog, just to pander to the audience. And once again, if I knew, if you had your real picture with them dust ass dreads, you would have never hit my platform. You would have never got any recognition in my chat. So please stop cosplaying as a black woman. That's number one. You you came to cloud chase off of me. And an op wrote you a message like he do everybody else trying to build these fake ass relationships on Instagram and all of that shit, bitch. I don't have time for that motherfucking shit, bitch. My real life is fantastic. My real life is fantastic. Yours ain't. That's not my fault. But to see that play out, how that played out, I now know how to move accordingly. And I'm always giving people chances. And for quiet t for cutie TV, a quiet TV, cutie TV, they come they hit me up. First of all, they they was already writing me. So many people writing me. When I went over to his channel and his chat. When I went over to his chat, there was a cutie TV telling me to check my Instagram message and I checked my Instagram message. Okay. Let's see. And when I checked my Instagram message, she was talking about Krishan specifically. And I didn't see any of it. And then on Monday at 11.50 p.m., she said, sorry to disturb you. I have to discuss something with you about a blogger. I have receipts, a big blogger. Okay. Who is it? I'm all about competition. What you got? What you got going on? Okay. So during that interview, she stated that she came to me and yada yada and she didn't know that there was any beef or anything or any issue with storm and Rome. listen i don't this is the internet he don't want to see me in real life stepped on for real so <laughs> it ain't even no need to talk about that he ain't gonna do none of that but um it's competition let's get it right and i remember saying that i wasn't gonna focus on no personalities on my big channel so I should have did it on this backup channel, right? Oops, I went against my word because you had some exclusive stuff. And you sat up down my platform and said to me that you seen me post on my community wall where I was basically telling Storm and Rope, that shit ain't even funny. You're, you're not funny. It's not even funny. What are you doing? Nobody don't care. Yada, yada. You're washed up. You know, saying the shit any competitor will say. I mean, it's beef, right? But that's what she saw. And she saw that as an opportunity to collaborate with me, which I didn't regret at the time. And I still don't. Let's be clear. But then... When I'm realizing, I'm like, hold on. I'm listening to the interview. You said several times during that interview that these people play behind the scenes games. And now I'm trying to ask you, Cutie TV, did you know? And is one of the behind the scenes game is platform manipulation, trying to have people false reported, mass reported. Did you know any of that? Because I recall you saying not only did you pay them more than two thousand dollars for services but you was in his chat and other people chat sending them hundreds of dollars payola see the difference between me and you i know my worth and i didn't do no payola 
when I went to other people's chats, I went on their platform and I collaborate. I didn't have to do payola to form no fake ass friendships. And I immediately knew what was fake and what was real for me. But when she said on my platform in an interview three times, saying that these big bloggers and stuff, they play behind the scenes game. And that got me wondering, did you come to my platform to tell your story because you wanted to tell it in front of a fresh audience? Because I recall she never told that story to nobody. She never said it on her platform. Nobody in her audience knew. That's what she said. So she made me believe that it was 100% exclusive, even in the midst of her own audience. Okay, let's get it. But these behind the scene games that you speak of, did you set me up so these people can play these behind the scene games that they've been playing? And that's why you didn't do it on your platform. Or why didn't you do it on Great T News platform since he got 97,000 subscribers? You don't believe in him? He got triple my subscribers and you are a moderator on his channel. Why didn't you do your interview on his platform? So you knew that by coming on my platform, it will make me a target of being reported. And you didn't give a fuck because you want to talk about and report on Christian Rock every single day. That's your content. And so your little fake love and coming to my chat, fake supporting me, all of that shit was not genuine. That was an oppo to say, hey, now he's tapping into our audience. We got to maintain, we got to build, and we got to tap into his. Let me tell you something, sweetheart. I got the smartest people on YouTube. The silent, the, the smart motherfuckers. I got the people that's done and tired of listening to motherfuckers like y'all that say, Did not, I almost love YouTube until I found your channel. They're not coming to support you for my platform. They're not. My audience don't even support this channel because they ain't got time for the bullshit. They like when I'm actually creating content. Most of them. So it's kind of strange to me. So now I'm trying to call you today to ask you straight up. When you say they play these behind the scene games, do they go to their YouTube manager? Do they go to their YouTube people? To try to weaponize them and attack other creators? Were you once a part of a group text message chain or anything where you were supposed to report people so you could substantiate that? I, I got more questions. But then you also said on the platform that Storm Monroe sent you your money during my live stream. And it really reminded me of the situation with Armand Wiggins and that pick a nose ass girl named Cupcake. How they used the moment in a situation involving me and let's shit on him and let's talk shit about him and let me pretend I didn't know this and this and op up against him and your operation against me is the newfound establishment for your relationship with Storm and Rowe. Because you want to be sitting at the cool kids club and you fail to realize that i kind of calculated that that's why i asked you as a black woman you don't believe in yourself enough you don't believe in yourself enough to stand up for yourself to stand on your own and run your own platform and stand in your truth so when i call you go straight to voicemail i'm like where's mother's day happy mother's day i'm like huh what was blue it's not green. Excuse me, I think it's always been green. She got an injury up my bad. But then when I call you from a text now number, it rang several times, which lets me know that my call went straight to voicemail. And then I was like, let me be funny. Let me go to Cash App and request some reparations. Because if I didn't do that interview with her, they wouldn't be playing or, or, or they would have halted these behind the scene games going on with me, right? Because they all in the cabal and I don't like none of them bitches. 
And I'm telling you right now, bitch, for the next motherfucker who think I'm soft, who approach me, or think that they can come at me reckless, I'm going in your shit. I don't give a fuck if you're a man or a woman. So don't fucking play with me if you ever see me outside here. I'm going to jail. I'm going to jail. I'm telling you that right now, bitch. Call the cops if you're thinking about playing with me. Okay? I know how to shoot. I know how to fight. And if I'm scared, I know how to pick up something to beat your ass with it, too. And I got great aim. I'm Jamaican. Um, So I just wanted to put that into perspective. But it's fun in the city's place. And so with that said, this is exactly why I'm going live behind members only. If you want to enjoy the Did Not Show, you're going to have to become a member. If you are a moderator who don't have a membership for whatever reason, your ranch is going to be gone. It's going to be taken. Okay? Some people make y'all hoes and y'all niggas pay two, three hundred dollars to be a moderator. I say pay your cable bill. Pay your cable bill, watch TV, and turn it off and turn me off when you go on about your motherfucking day. Because I'm here to entertain and I'm here to get paid for it. So if you don't want to pay me for a membership, you won't see my live streams. If you do, and you just don't have it, you just gonna have to wait till I upload it and watch it while I'm getting paid with ad revenue. All this shit dropping links, having bitches coming over, new people that don't even know me trying to clout chase off of me. And the other motherfuckers mad because I didn't figure their game out too and they can't clout chase off of me. But I'm sick and tired of giving people chance out the chance and I'm getting the short end of the stick. If I was God or if I was Jesus and I had some magical power, I, 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 I literally would wish that every person that crossed me, that be your last motherfucking breath because I'm too good for people to play with me like that. See, if I had powers. But because I'm the godfather of YouTube, my job is to show y'all to separate the real from the fake. And that's what I'm going to do. So you can talk shit, internet world, this and this, this ain't happening, and oh, the knock down, and we come, same thing with the whole mah Mahogany Jackson thing. Had all these content creators wanting to shout me out, wanting to do interviews with me, but the minute my platform go down, nobody is talking about me. The minute I get a viral moment with Diddy, everybody want to interview me again. The minute there's a viral moment with Chris Shaw, everybody want to interview me again. Nah, I'm good. I'm good, bitch. We going behind members only. Or you just going to see an upload, bitch. Either way, I'm going to make my money. Either way, I'm going to make my money. That's how it is. Mm -hmm. Bitch, I got the it factor. I got the it factor energy, the essence, the resume and everything. And they don't. Bitch, YouTube it factor is not up to par. I'm just keeping it a bean. Okay? Just wanted to talk about that. And while I'm on this vacation, hopefully it's over tomorrow because that's a fake ass strike. And it should be reversed. Um, I'm watching content and building rapport and building up a new perception. I'm watching people and things that I did before so that I can talk about something greater than them. Hey, what's up, Sandy? Diva? Hey, baby, what you doing? How you doing, I should say? I'm I mean, good. Listen, listen, Sandy, but let me tell you something. When I, once I express myself, that's it. I know I was very emotional about talking about, you know, basically a synopsis of my family and Mother's Day and stuff. Once I ended that live stream, I felt good. I'm great. I promise you. My people that's been around me for a long time, they know that. Okay. All right. But when you when you uh went on live earlier today and was talking about your family and stuff, I was just like, oh my God, like that is so deep. I had so many other questions to ask about your mom, but I mean this ain't the time nor the place, but I'm yeah, just, it'll be a, it'll be another time, you know. Yeah. We, moms and shit like that and i just want to right. you know just but i want to get back to uh I, I know i know cutie is in the um uh uh 
listening. Somebody's in the bushes. One of her team is listening. I'm trying to understand why she ain't on here defending herself. And it's like it, it was when I I called her the first day after I called her, I was like, hey, Storm and Rose fucking with my he is, oh my gosh. And then I sent her the link and she came to the chat. And the video was about Storm and Rose weaponizing black women. He didn't come out the bushes when I did the interview with her, but we knew he was there because he sent her the cash shot back. And right. it was like a hundred people there. So he was there too. So he saw her in the bushes. And what he did was he convinced her to rekindle whatever fake ass shit that they got going on so she can further victimize herself or to keep her at bay. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, it did seem kind of, I don't know, dog. I don't know. I met you the night before. And then the next day, she was on there with her receipts and this, that, and the third. And it was a lot. But I was trying to yeah. understand why she didn't bring it out on her show because she's always airing people out. She aired out that one dude on her show. They was openly beefing. So, I don't know. Weird. Very weird. And then you didn't connect the dots. So, mm. I'm on the sideline looking in. That's what I'm going to say. You know, like, no, it's, it's like... Me personally, people like, oh, she set you up. I see what they mean. Con I'm like, content is the content. But she know this behind the scenes guy. She's pro. How many? How many group chats and texts and content creators and big bloggers she didn't pay to be in a proximity with? So if she's supporting these people. She know all of this. It shows you ain't giving me the real tea. You just want to cry and trauma dump on my platform. Thinking that my audience is dumb. My audience, first of all, my people, that's why you didn't go up in those subscribers. My people that listen to me and that watch me are smart enough to know we've been down this. How right. many people have did not promote it and told me to go follow it? And next thing you I know, they're trashing him. They're harming his brand and reputation. So, bitch, even with me telling my subscribers to go follow you. I got logical, smart people. They're not going to follow you. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't. Like, at this point in time, I most mean, of them. I mean, platforms are two totally different. Like you said, she talks about Krishan, and I do too, so I can't knock that, but she talks about her in a different light. When I started following her initially, she wasn't that. She she was, like, neutral, but now it's just, like, anti Krishan. So I just stay and listen just to be hearing what she say, but ugh, I don't know, bro. Yeah, and I'm I definitely just, not. And I and I just I literally just got off the phone with Wack and Krishan. Mm, that's big. So I mean, yo, I I mean I, I talk to Wack all the time and DJ Academics. I talk to them. Right. I, just because right. I don't mention it on YouTube. Like anytime one of them make me mad, that's when I go to trolling them. Like when I go to talking shit about DJ Academics, and they 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 be watching it too. They be watching when I'm trolling them. Right. That's my get back, and that's just uh, what it is, you know. But yeah, yes, we are. Platforms are totally different. Like you be talking about all kind of stuff across the board. And across the board, it's like, girl, you not finna get my people come and see the, the not people come and see me. Right. People come and see me. And when I got on this platform beefing with people, I made sure that, you know what? People are going to come and see me at the end of the day. Because when I'm tired of beefing with this person, or tired of talking about this person, what still shines is my essence. So it ain't no need for somebody to try to beef with me to try to crack into my algorithm. But you're going to build this channel is what you're going to do. <laughs> <laughs> He's stupid. For hey, real. No, for real. Um, not to take up for great tea or anything, but mm -hmm. I believe during in January, 
YouTube did something with the uh, Krishan algorithm because when I started my channel, I was getting at least 25 to 30 subscribers per day. And I know that ain't much for you because you made your little 500 in a couple of days. But for me, it took me from October all the way to January to get 500 subscribers. And I was only talking about Krishan and I thought I was doing pretty good. And then January 1st came and I hit a brick wall. Boom, nothing. I went all the way up until I was getting like five subscribers every two weeks and I didn't switch up nothing. Nothing changed. All my numbers drastically went one, down. I'm going to tell you why. One minute. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you the big secret why my why? shit, even, even with me being down on my main platform in the, in the, in the days that I've been down without creating no content, I've maintained 25,000 views in the past 48 hours, which Ooh. means that people are still watching all of my shit, all, you know, and then I've also gained 350 new subscribers just, just off a of replay content that's already there. The name of the game is to have such a solid opinion and you get people used to watching you and used to you having the supreme opinion about things. And, and I mean, um, they will go back and they will watch it. New people will come in. YouTube will recommend it because your core audience is still watching it. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, and it. it's called evergreen content. And when you're talking about Zeus Network and Christian Rock and, and personality driven content, that's the spur of the moment. You know what happened on Zeus Network today and you report on it might become absolute tomorrow if one of the people that you just reported on from Zeus Network made something on the blogs and now you got to talk about that and that's not going to matter next week the content that I create in the way I articulate myself I make sure it's timeless so no matter who this is why I'm saying YouTube is becoming redundant because no matter what happens with Will and Jada I've already formed a solid opinion that I'm going to stand on. And all I can do is add that here and there. And, and even if I miss that wave, the next something else is going to come up. And then I can remind people of that and go on and on. You have it's, it's your opinion. It's your essence that you have to stand on. Mm -hmm. Don't work for the content. Make the content work for you. And anybody that's covering these reality shows, it's not evergreen. It's not. It's not. Right. You know, um, a lot of the celebrity tea and celebrity gossip is not evergreen. That's why I focus on trending topic. It's a different perception if I'm saying trending topic. Because if I was focused on sexy red going to the doctor to get her coochie stink. Oh my God. Wasn't that ridiculous? That's ridiculous, uh, right? I have not done a video about it. I but can't I do myself to. I can't. But hold on. But I do know the next time she do something. And if I miss that, or the next time after that, I know to bring that up, and I and I got that in my arsenal to roast her right. motherfucking ass, like a snowball effect. Right. Mm hmm. That bitch went to the doctor talking about my coochie stink. I need to get it checked up or something. She said it was crazy. My homegirl yeah. asked me what, what well, she said. Girl, yeah, she in the hospital looking silly. They said they had to pull. Yes. Oh, she took a picture with her feet. She didn't take a picture with anything else. Thank you. But yeah, that was so ghetto of her. But like a snowball effect. So just keep that in your arsenal. So next time it'll be a juicier story, basically. Exactly, and and that's <laughs> you know, um, and that's what you do. It's not about who reported it first; it's who reported it the best. Mm. And when I say I'm the best, I know I'm gonna report it the best. That's why I fucks with you because you be giving me little jewels. Yeah. Somebody said you ain't reported on Krishan in a minute. I said it's been two, three days. Let her do something that, that is worth reporting on. She ain't mm -hmm. doing nothing hiding out in the closet eating Slim Jims, <laughs> running from the police. No, I, I don't. I don't mean to sound harsh about Krishan because I love Krishan. Everybody tell me that I'm obsessed with the girl, but I just want to see her do better. But at this point, I just feel like it's something mentally wrong, bro. I promise it is. That's why she got the strength of a crazy person. The bitch is strong as hell. So, 
I love her to death, though. I just wanted to see do better for herself. How you gonna make a video and say you weren't running from the police, but you left the game because it was too many police? Make it make sense. I thought she said she left the game because her ankle broke. No, she left the game because Papa Blueface came up there spooking her, telling us too many police, too many police. Somebody wrote a letter uh, to the police. I don't know what the letter said, but she caught wind of the letter, went home. But she, I think the foot, well, I don't know about, I ain't, mm, ain't going to speculate. But at the end of the day, she left the game because it was too many police and came back. Once she realized the police was not looking for her, then she said that she got all her court stuff taken care of. She got to go to court on Wednesday and ain't nobody looking for her or nothing, which is crazy to me because a warrant means people is looking for you, girl. I mean, boy. I mean, exactly. Um, everybody know LA is the wild, wild west. You can have 10 warrants, LAPD really ain't checking for you. If you ain't killing somebody, <laughs> you can be out there be walking around with 10 warrants. As long as you don't come in contact with the police, that's good. If they run your name and a system hit, that is you. They have to take you in, even if they don't want to, because now they got to be held accountable and answer to why you didn't take this person with all these warrants. But it's different because L.A. County got out-of-state warrants. L.A. County don't want to spend no resources holding these people. And LA County is not gonna hold Christian in jail until they come and pick up. Cause they overcrowded. You get sentenced to 30 days in jails in three three to five days, you you out of that bitch. Right. Matter of fact, well, you why get, blue face still in her blue free blue face? Why he still in her? Open country, no bond. What you eating? Give me some. What you got? In and out burger. <laughs> Ooh, look at you all uh Cali fired and things. <laughs> Blueface got open cases and no bond on some charges. That's why he didn't know. Well, Christian got open cases too. It's not with LA County. Um oh. it's gonna be hard for her to do away games because she's gonna have to worry about the post. They the she gonna have to worry about them. They're gonna send the the um the bounty hunters out the hub, what in them games? That's what she's like scared they did last time. She's get when? Oh, you know they sent the bounty hunters out the home, baddies, and they came and got her. Titties was dangling and everything. I didn't remember. I missed that. <laughs> no, you did not, bitch. I missed that. You are so many comments. Is it on your page? No, it's not on my page because I wasn't doing her content at the time, but I will sure find that clip for you and send it to you. It is so crazy. That she was on the bus, they was about to get on the bus, go somewhere. The, the bounty hunters came out of nowhere. Mm -mm. And you know, Zeus was right there with all the cameras. They had to put a blanket over because you know she wore hat for nothing. Her titties was dangling and everything. I can't believe you ain't seen that. I'm Googling Wendy, it right you now. The, you in the chat, you seen that, Wendy? I'm telling you, that was crazy. Oh my God, when she was on the ground? Yeah. That video on the shade room only got 1.1K views on it. I'm gonna pull it up. I Let never seen see this, but they had her on the ground. It's they the books right here. Is this it? That's it, that's it, that's it. That's it. That's it. Uh oh. I'm standing there in fucking shock. It was the U.S. Marshals. Like, oh my God. Like, I was so open I didn't know what to do. Okay. Whatever you want, she has a warrant out of Oklahoma for arrest. Uh oh. Knowing about it for a couple of weeks. No, she still, she still got another warrant out of Oklahoma. That's, 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 for, that's, that's for the community service that she didn't do. She only had to do 30 days of community service, bro. They she finna get her it. again. They finna get her again, just like that. That's why I be going so hard. Like, I don't, I'm not a bashing. I think that's why she got uh blue face dad around because she gonna need somebody to take the baby. Or uh, they gonna take but the baby he, to keep it. Ooh, child. Ain't nobody too fit, fit to keep the goddamn baby. Nobody. Mm -mm. Carlissa is her best option, though. Mm -mm. Yeah, she who else is who who else is better than Carlissa to take her of that baby? Tom, 
Carlos is gonna pinch the hell out there, baby. <laughs> so before we have Houston, we're stopping by the hotel <laughs> to meet up with the crew. We're about to get Ooh, on the road. Okay, to we're about to pinch the hell out of uh, uh, on the ground. And the U.S. Marshal. Let the mama the yeah. fellas even let the baby yeah. get brown. And she crying. Look at him. Like Look, I don't play the music. They were petty for that. <laughs> They're throwing they a blanket over her head and she's like, she's a terrorist. They just keep locking. It is dangling. I told you her titties was dangling. Damn. I can't believe you went. Yes. That was bad in South, right? Yes. Mm, they got it. They, they're going to get it just like that football game, too. I'm telling Oklahoma you, don't play. No, they said no, Oklahoma, no. They said Oklahoma want her to relocate to their state to finish their probation. And they got the right to say that. Mm. But then her probation is only 30 days, so she only got to do 30 days. And, and then Junior will have her his mom. Like... I'm still on who you think who gonna who's gonna get Wait, baby junior. I thought she was on probation for years and had to do 30 days community hours. What is it? She had to do community. I don't know. I just know she didn't do her community service. That's why her probation lapsed. And the term mm -hmm. of her probation was that community service and the whatever else she had on the shelf. But I know she had to do that 30 days. Why don't and she, she just go and pick up fucking trash and film it and make a bag out of that and say, oh, yeah, this is my community service out, but you really make it. She don't have it all, baby. She don't have it all. She do not have it all. I really would like to sit down and talk to her mother to ask her mother what kind of baby she was. Was she like Junior? <laughs> we need to understand because the decisions that she made is not conducive to the movement for the baby for her life or nothing and i know i'm i'm on the outside looking in but i don't see no big change in blue face we, uh, i guess that's yet to be seen i don't know i don't know let me just show Bradley, you. Make sure they added them <laughs> i don't know what you get at in and out oh you still chewing it sounds so good no let me guess don't tell me let me guess let me guess let me guess okay a double cheeseburger, lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, onions, um, ketchup, and a uh, large fry and a Sprite. No. And first <laughs> of all, it's called a double double, an in and out. I got a double double lettuce. I got two double doubles, lettuce wrap, no onions, so it only has tomato, cheese, pickles. And chopped chili in the meat, it's mustard fried. Oh, you bougie with your so that ain't no burger, nigga. You so rap. So you got your burger on a wrap? They just put lettuce and stone bread. Okay. Oh, so they didn't take the time to huh? You don't have no bread on your burger. It's a lettuce burger. It tastes better this way. I bet it does. I made one homemade before. Because <laughs> I'm right. country and I like to do everything I see. Right. Yeah, but I'm sorry. I wish Cutie would call in. I know, I know she's lurking in the bushes. I know she is. If she not, then one of her one of her cutie squads is i just want her to excuse because you know everybody's guilty until proven innocent wait a minute <laughs> i'm gonna tell you what was happening everybody innocent you. till proven guilty i'm gonna tell you what was happening in real time they come in and clout chase on my platform i was nice to them invited them in my home Ops or other people, other content creators that are jealous and that don't do nothing but hate on the next person because they're not you. Y'all talk about I'm a hater. Hey, nobody show you no message of me. Hey, anything I said is public, bitch. Haters is the people that go behind the scenes to manipulate the public perception. I don't do that. So when they was on my platform, other wannabe content creators reached out to them and, and decided to build a relationship with them. And for her to sit there and say she's been through the mud and she's been through all of that, 
then to turn around and participate in that type of action says a lot about your character. Mm. Allegedly, because we don't know if she was participating. Allegedly, but the way right. that she yeah. crumble, right? And a lot of people are like, "Oh, you're paranoid." Well, you know, you got to think about all possibilities. YouTube at the level I'm at, it's about survivor of the fittest. Yeah. You got to think of, you got to think to su- 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 survive. What if this person is doing that? What if, what if, and the easiest thing for me to do is to not, is to not let none of them in my environment. I didn't go looking for them. I did not know them. And I don't want to know. Them. I don't talk about Christian every day. That was just a viral moment. Bitch, I'm in LA. I'm going to, what they fail to realize is, I'm going to have before this year out, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have way more viral moments just by way of my location. Just your charismatic personality. Like like the viral moment you had at the football game, that's how I found you. Like I never saw anybody's content, but when I put in Krishan football game, you popped up. And I was like, let me watch this. And then you were so cute. I was like, oh, you're so cute. And then <laughs> your commentary was on spot. He was like, ooh, my arm tied. I didn't think it's through. Like, you know, you just had me cracking up. And I was like, who is this nigga? Let me follow him. <laughs> you know? And then, uh, you know, we already know what happened with Hot Piss, Hot Mattress. And I'm like, oh my God. And then you gave me a different perspective on her so i was like uh uh-uh, let me let me follow this kid i like him and then you was just so cool and you know i just felt like we was on the same wave pattern you know mentally you know because i think we look at a lot of things as the same but when you get mad you get mad mad i'm not as mean as you are <laughs> I think honestly, I think that's you a mean a, butt. You a mean butt. I think that's why people that love me pretend to hate me because I'm mean, and I'm I'm, I'm just like. <laughs> and then the thing about it is, if you can get over that and just be like, let me give them space and not take it so personal, then it'll be different. Yeah. But these people, they want instant gratification, and I say, stay away from me. You want instant gratification that you doing some op shit and now you still you you want to have free range to harass me and free range to speak to me no and i think it's a sense of entitlement that comes with the internet because you can make a post and you can get people commenting on your post and then if you interact with that person then they feel that like you're obligated you know, at some point, because you interacted with them, and it's crazy. But all Americans have a sense of entitlement. They feel like yeah, no, but no, nobody. No, listen, I have a sense of entitlement to protect my peace and to keep learning and growing and doing what I need to do to better my life. I'm entitled by that. I don't have. I don't tread on somebody else's life, liberty, or pursuit of happiness. And these people on the internet think that by treading on somebody's personal life somebody's liberty and pursuit of happiness and goal to come that right there that's the type of shit that'll get you killed and i don't give a fuck if somebody who's doing that actually dies that's i don't care i really don't i i think the world should be a better place for anybody to die who intends on impeding upon somebody else's life liberty and pursuit of happiness that's my constitutional right and now you're finding some way to violate that Mm. to go around the bushes and violate that you know yeah i mean that's a pretty deep way to look at it too Uh, it's it's literally the fundamentals of the constitution the constitution the court system the civil court, the criminal court, the whole judiciary, even the whole political, all three branches of government are meant to do one thing. That is to protect all citizens, life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. That's what all of that is there for. That's what it's supposed to be there for. But you know, they killing us left and right. Exactly. 
know. It is what it is. It's stop people crazy. You Aries, my sister Aries. We fire sign. That's why we vibe. Is it an Aries or Aries? I thought it was Aries. Well, I'm from the country, so Aries, like Aries. the Aram. You are Aries. No, girl, I be saying Arab sometimes. <laughs> Uh, you was not no Arab. You is from Jamaica, nigga. No, I'm just saying. Whenever I talk about uh, Palestine, I be saying Arab. <laughs> <laughs> What's your birthday? Uh huh? When's your birthday? Oh, I'm a Cancer. That's why. That's why I'm. Um, yeah. Oh, she said the net don't uh, the knot has ways of an Aries. I thought she was saying you are an Aries. You ain't no fire sign then. What is you? I'm a water side cancer. Water. Maybe that's why. I don't know. Because fire puts out water. I mean, water puts out fire. So, my baby is a water sign too. So, hmm. when you say water puts out fire, it just <laughs> made me think of Sprudder versus Charmander. <laughs> you know? There you go. Pokemon. Anyways, um, you hit me up, others. I gotta get a body. I just wanted to right, um, baby. document this and just say that ain't no beef, ain't no smoke. Just stay away from me, honestly. And you trying to figure out how to infiltrate? Oh, I'm gonna infiltrate the not and infiltrate a whole bunch of hate to your channel. Well, what's gonna happen when you get done with that? When you no longer are serving those people, they're gonna turn on you. They're gonna expect that out of you. And I am. Fortunate for me, I am way more entertaining than uh, everybody on YouTube. And if you are an entertainer, you're supposed to feel like you're more entertaining than the next person. Uh, anyways. Uh, you are very entertaining. I'll give you that. And I love I stumbled up on your channel. You have taught me so much. And this, this little the last past week that I've known you, because I met you last Saturday. Was it last Saturday? Yeah, that was Christian first game. Yep, last Saturday. Yep, and I appreciate all the diamonds and jewels that you have given me, and I have implemented them, or trying to implement them. And I can honestly say my little subscribers has went up. Well, when I met you, I had, what, 593. Now I think I'm at, like, 613. So it went up about 10 or 20. And you know what so, I like? I like that you're genuinely having conversations. And quite now, that's how you're going to get my audience. I don't have to promote you. I got logic. If I tell these people, the, my core audience, to do something, I ain't doing that shit. Uh -uh. They think for themselves. My audience mm -hmm. think for themselves. Yep. And the first night that I was on your channel, you shouted me out, and I even put my link on there, but I didn't get no new people, maybe one. But since we've been talking, like we've been talking, and this I have, is the backup I have channel. Grown. I have grown. Yeah, I know it's the backup channel, and I was. Yeah, I know it's the backup channel. But you, that's why I keep telling you, you gotta have a backup channel when it comes to YouTube because Papa YouTube be tripping. Master, I'm gonna call it Master YouTube be tripping. That's another thing we need to have. We need to get a whole show about Master YouTube. YouTube, YouTube has channel. been, YouTube um, has been pushing and promoting. Um, a lot of the big bloggers, if, if I'm not mistaken, damn near all of the big bloggers, they have somebody at YouTube pushing their content, promoting them. Like even me with 32 plus thousand subscribers, somebody at YouTube is 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 clicking buttons so that my notifications don't go out and so forth. YouTube have chosen select ones that have built relationships and have been here for a long time. And um I don't have time for that, bitch. I just, if, if you're not a member of mine, I'm not here to service you on YouTube anymore. I love that concept as well. But we'll rap about it. But I do think that I want to collaborate with you, like, on a show where we talk about massa YouTube and compare the people that they're promoting and let they, that they let get away with everything. Mm-hmm. And then the people that they censor and keep us in our little streets. That's why they call YouTube streets because you can find the niggas on one block. Mm. So, I mean, it's a lot. It's crazy. So, I look forward to that. All right. Much love. Thank you so much for coming up and always supporting me. And honestly, that's the best way to do it. Just 
keep coming up, keep chatting, and, and the people will ultimately decide for themselves if they want to follow you or not. And pop right. out your own thing. I come over there. That's how you genuinely supposed to create. Don't be bringing an army of people to shout you out in the chat and do. All, I'm I'm cool with that. I'm good. Yeah, that's a lot. I would feel a certain kind of way, and I get it. I get it, but that's not the move because everybody don't feel everybody's content. That's why everybody right. got a different amount of subscribers. You know what I'm saying? So I would never right. try to come on your platform and push my people unless I was saying y'all on my platform telling my people to go follow you. Then that's different. Then that my yeah, people- that's I will I will say Cutie TV did that. I will definitely say that. I'm not gonna discredit that, um, and I'm not gonna discredit anything. But like if you know, men men lie, women lie. Numbers, Numbers don't, don't lie. lie. And, then yeah, at, <clears throat> and then when I look at the video I did with QD TV uh, with the numbers about Storm and Row, I'm not saying I could have done that on my own, but it's not unheard of for me to have a video that's fucking five days old with 6,100 views on it. I've done that before plenty of times by myself. As a matter of fact, my story time where I didn't have to click a link about the Christian Rock story has more likes and more views on that and even more comments. Um, other things, so many different things. Um, the whole Jaguar Wright thing by myself, no link, didn't even have Jaguar Wright on my platform has over 8,000 views by myself, more likes and clicks and views than, you know, but I really try to create some form of evergreen content. I don't mind collaborating, but now in this particular situation, I'm reminded why I stopped collaborating and why I just, you know, um, I'm like I said, if I'm just not, I'm here to serve my members. That is the people that paid a big cable bill, the people that support- <laughs> Otherwise, I'm just I'm good. You just I well, don't guess what? I paid my bill. I'm a member. Hello. I know, and you know what? The first, the uh, the first, the last live stream that I'm gonna do is to call out the racist fuck shit with YouTube and everything. After that, I'm going straight up live behind a paywall. I'm gonna create a members mem- a join members video and explaining to everybody why. You're going to have to pay to enjoy this content and why I'm not doing it publicly. And I'm going to just make sure um, I keep attaching that and play that before while the video is scheduled. So people know if you want, if you hear, you want it, you're going to have to become a member. You got to pay for your own membership. We ain't, I don't want nobody to donate. Nobody, no membership at so all. I'm confused about why not gift? Like if somebody want to pay an extra. No, I'm going to tell you why. Yeah. Because. Those people, the, the, the people that are doing all of this false reporting, and they're stalking me. They're watching everything that I do. And if you gift a membership, one of them are more than likely able to go out and actually get one of the free memberships to infiltrate whatever content that I have behind the paywall. Say, for instance, I'm doing a show and I'm saying something that might be considered community violation that can might get me taken out. And I'm like, damn, I don't, it's either I have to, I have to end that video and delete it. Or if my members are enjoying it that know me, I can go ahead and leave that there, do what I need to do and just, you know. Right. Edit the video. Edit the video. That's it. Just edit the video. Well, you ain't got to worry about me gifting. I'm going to keep up with my little membership. <laughs> yeah, don't, I don't want nobody to gift not one membership. And and I know um, it, it might be, you know, 20 people watching me um, while I'm doing a, a whole do not show. And that's fine because, again, the only thing and the only reason why I do live streams and record at the same time is because I'm, on a psychological level, I would be here all day, every day chopping away at redoing takes and I, and I would never get any content mm-hmm. um completed to upload but if I'm live I just gotta run with that shit that's yeah. the only reason why I go live I swear to God it's the only reason I mean I get that I get it and you do great content live or videos or whatever because your editing skills is a par above everybody's like your shit's dope but anyway, I'm going to let you go. I ain't going to keep on talking your head off because you know I could talk to you forever. I know. We will talk outside of this. Much love. I'll see you guys later. Okay, Bye. Love you. Bye.
Bye.